Tech jobs are changing with automation, layoffs, and AI everywhere. But there's one area that companies can't afford to cut back on, and that's cybersecurity. And if you're just starting off, this might be one of the smartest places you can start your career. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a real look as to why cybersecurity remains to be one of the most reliable tech careers in 2025 and why it'll stay that way in 2026 and beyond. We'll break down exactly what drives cybersecurity demand, how much cybersecurity jobs actually pay, and how to actually start learning cybersecurity the right way. No hype, no buzzwords, just the reality of what's going on in the cybersecurity job market right now and the future outlook. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos like this one every single week. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at CyberWithBen. So first of all, let's talk about why cybersecurity keeps on growing. Here's the simple truth. With every introduction of new technology, it introduces a new risk. AI, crypto, cloud computing, smart devices, these are all examples of technologies that open up more opportunities for attackers. And as of this year, there are over 1.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs in the US and over 4.8 million cybersecurity jobs worldwide. And these aren't just random big numbers I'm trying to throw at you. These are some jobs that companies are trying to fill. And we're not just talking about big tech. The need for cybersecurity professionals spans across all industries, including things like banking, schools, hospitals, government agencies, all these industries are in need of cybersecurity professionals. Because at the end of the day, one breach or one violation can lead to millions of dollars being lost and reputational damages. Now, on the other hand, one thing that's really scaring people when it comes to tech careers right now is the introduction of AI and how advanced it's starting to become. A lot of people think that AI is going to completely replace all of these tech jobs, but in my opinion, it's going to also create a lot of opportunity for people who are just getting started. I think AI is going to replace a lot of repetitive tasks like scanning logs, sorting alerts, and automating simple tasks. And I also think AI is going to introduce a lot of new cybersecurity jobs. For example, there's going to be more AI security jobs, data protection, mole risk management, and governance. So there's still going to be a huge demand for cybersecurity professionals. It's just a matter of how and what it's going to look like with AI in place. Because like I said before, with the introduction of new technology comes with a lot of more opportunities for attackers. For example, people are already using AI for their cybersecurity attacks and scams like phishing, vishing, using deep fakes to scam people. All of these are going to continue to be more and more prevalent as AI becomes more advanced, which in turn is going to lead for a higher demand of experienced and knowledgeable cybersecurity professionals. And that's one of the reasons why I think cybersecurity just isn't a normal, typical job. It's a core requirement for business nowadays, and it's going to continue to become more and more important every single year as technology becomes more advanced. So now let's talk about what you can expect in terms of pay going into 2026 for cybersecurity jobs. So entry-level SOC analyst jobs or junior security analyst jobs range anywhere from $75,000 per year to $90,000 per year. Now these salaries can change depending on your location, where you live, and the company you work for, but these are just some rough averages that you can maybe expect. Mid-level analysts and engineers make anywhere from $110,000 per year to one. $140,000 per year. And more senior positions like managers and CISOs and distinguished engineers, you're looking at over $180,000 per year. Now, the high salaries for cybersecurity jobs really isn't the only benefit of working in cybersecurity as a career. One of the core benefits of working in cybersecurity that's often overlooked is the fact that it gives you a lot of stability when it comes to your job security. Even when a bunch of tech layoffs happened in 2024, a lot of cybersecurity roles remained relatively untouched. Because at the end of the day, these companies don't want to get rid of the people who are protecting them from being hacked and remaining compliant. And the cost of a single breach would cost a lot more than what they're paying these cybersecurity professionals. Also, it's probably not a good look to see a company that you work for or you're invested in laying off their entire cybersecurity department. So now that we understand the current demand for cybersecurity professionals and also the future outlook, let's talk about some of the real challenges people face when first trying to start learning cybersecurity. So like I said before, there's hundreds of thousands of open jobs right now that you can apply for, but oftentimes people and beginners are finding it really difficult to land their first opportunity in cybersecurity. There's a lot of postings out there that say they're entry level, but actually require years of experience and also advanced level certifications. They also might require a bunch of technical skills that beginners realistically just don't have. And the first step to approach this issue is not to just go ahead and apply to every single job position that you see. It's about building enough skill and proof to start getting 
getting noticed and opening up doors. You don't need to know everything, but you do need to have something to show for. So this means a project, a lab, or a certification that shows that you put in the work and you understand what you're doing and you have these certain skill sets. And if you're a complete beginner, one of the best things you can do at this point is to find a structured learning plan. And that's where platforms like Coursera come into play. They have hundreds of courses and professional certificates that give you a clear starting point. They give you hands-on experience so you're working with real tools that are used throughout the industry. And at the end of it, you can get a credential or professional certificate that you can add to your resume and make yourself more credible when applying for these entry-level roles. And a great example of this, and one of my personal favorites when it comes to beginner-level certificates, is going to be the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificates offered on Coursera. Coursera offers several cybersecurity programs from companies like Google, IBM, and Microsoft, but the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificates is one of my favorites. It's built for complete beginners. You don't need to have any prior experience with computers or IT in order to start learning. The course itself is taught by real Google professionals, so you're getting some real-world experience from people who actually work in the industry. And the best part is that it focuses on real-world skills and actually applying what you learn rather than just theory. The Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificates walks you through how computers and networks work, how attacks happen, and how to respond when they do. You'll learn about threat detection, incident response, and risk management, and you'll also practice using tools like Splunk, Wireshark, and Basic Python for automation. This is really important because these tools are really used in the industry, so you're getting hands-on experience with tools that are used every single day. You can add those to your resume as well. The course content itself include things like readings, videos, quizzes, capstone projects, and even labs to test your knowledge and really practice what you've been learning. And by the end of the certificate, you'll have skills you could talk about and actually apply in the real world. And one of the main reasons why I recommend this certificate for beginners is that it's really affordable compared to other certifications that cost over $200 and $300. This program uses a monthly subscription model where you pay about $49 per month and you only pay for however long you take to complete the entire certificate. You can cancel at any time and you can work at your own pace. So it's really flexible for those who are working full time or are still in school. Most people finish within three to six months, but you can definitely finish it faster when you have some more free time, if you do it on weekends. So there's no deadline, there's no pressure. Just make sure you're staying consistent with your learning. And lucky for you guys, I've partnered with Coursera to give you guys 40% off your first three months of Coursera Plus. If you want to go ahead and take advantage of this offer, I'll leave a link in the description box below. So once you've completed the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, you now have a baseline understanding of IT, networking, and also cybersecurity concepts. You'll also have the certificate that you can add on to your resume and your LinkedIn to make yourself more marketable for recruiters and also make yourself more credible when it comes to applying for entry-level roles. Now, the next step that you want to focus on is starting to build upon your skills. So getting more hands-on skills, building out some different labs, doing your own projects. So building out your skill sets and also your knowledge and understanding of cybersecurity concepts, getting a little bit more advanced. And some of the best platforms to continue to get some more hands-on experience is going to be platforms like Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. Both of these websites offer so many different learning paths that go over different specialties and skills within cybersecurity. So it's a great place to start. It's really cheap as well. And also you can get a taste of different cybersecurity specialties so that one day you can have an idea of what you want to do and what you want to specialize in in the cybersecurity industry. And while you're continuing to use platforms like Try Hack Me and Hack the Box and building out your own projects or studying for different advanced level certifications, one of the best things you can do for yourself is starting to actually document your progress and your learning journey. This is not only a great way for you to retain and remember everything that you've learned throughout your entire learning journey, but it's also a great way for you to go ahead and market yourself and open up doors and find opportunities that maybe you wouldn't have if you didn't document and create content about your learning journey. So some examples of this could be like posting on LinkedIn about your achievements and what you've learned throughout your entire process, maybe having your own blog or your own newsletter documenting what you've learned, or even posting your own videos of going through different labs and going through your different projects and really sharing what you've learned. These are a great way for you to go ahead and market yourself and build some attention and have the spotlight onto you because you never know who might be watching it and what kind of opportunities it might lead to. So while you're getting some more hands-on experience and really getting your hands dirty when it comes to cybersecurity, one of your other priorities should be also getting some more advanced level certifications. So the two most important things when it comes to finding a job in cybersecurity is going to be building out your technical skills and your hands-on skills through labs, through Try Hack Me, through Hack the Box, through projects. And on the other hand, you want to pair that up with advanced level certifications like Security Plus, Blue Team Level 1, OSTP, whatever you want to do in terms of 
of your specialty, getting some more advanced certifications to pair with your hands-on skills. These are the two things you need in order to land your first job in cybersecurity and make yourself more marketable and open up some more opportunities for yourself. And as you continue to build out these two different things, you should also be applying to entry-level roles like SOC analyst roles, junior SOC analyst roles, things of that sort, maybe even internships to just get your foot inside of the door. And throughout your resume, make sure you have these keywords in there. So talk about the tools you've used, the languages you've learned, what kind of skills you've gained when doing your projects and what your projects actually accomplished. Things of that sort, making yourself as marketable as possible and attractive as possible to recruiters. So I know that was a lot of information, but overall, cybersecurity is a high paying career that also offers a lot of career stability and job security, as well as a lot of potential for career growth. But it's also a career that has a high barrier of entry and it's not really easy to break into. But if you go ahead and learn the right way, start with the foundations, get some hands-on skills, and build up your certifications, you are more than capable of landing your first opportunity in cybersecurity. And like I said before in the video, if you're a beginner and you want to get started learning cybersecurity, the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is going to be the perfect place to start. And if you want to get started and you want to save 40% off Coursera Plus for your first three months, go ahead and check out the link in the description box below to get started. And I'll also make sure to link all the resources that I mentioned in this video in the description box below as well so make sure you go ahead and check those out with that said guys thank you so much for watching make sure to go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and be sure to go ahead and leave any comments down below with any future video ideas or any questions you may have in terms of cybersecurity careers also be sure to follow me on instagram at cyber with ben with that said guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace